good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Children's Church. I'm so glad you're here with me. We're back with another Bible basics story, and this week we're in the book of Daniel. And I will give you a little hint. Next week we will also be in the book of Daniel. But today we're talking about three people. Well, three people and a king. So we're talking about Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Now these were not their real names, these were their Babylonian names, but for simplicity's sake I'm going to stick with those, even though it hurts my heart a little bit because those weren't their names. Anyway, we're in Daniel chapter 3. Let's go. King Nebuchadnezzar made an image of gold whose height was 60 cubits and his breadth 6 cubits. He set it up on the plain of Dura in the province of Babylon. Then King Nebuchadnezzar sent to assemble the straps, the prefects, the governors, the counselors, the treasurers, the justices, the magistrates, and all the officials to the provinces to come to the dedication of the image which King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. Then the straps, the prefects, the governors, the counselors, treasurers, justices, magistrates, and all the officials of the provinces were assembled to the dedication of the image that King Nebuchadnezzar had set up. And they stood before the image he had set up. And that they proclaimed, You are commanded, O peoples, O nations, O languages, that when you hear the sound of the horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, and every kind of music, you are to fall down and worship the golden image that Nebuchadnezzar has set up. And whoever does not fall down and worship will be immediately cast into the burning, fiery furnace. Uh oh. Therefore, as soon as all the pupils heard the sound of the harp, the horn, the pipe, the lyre, the trigon, the harp, the bagpipe, and every kind of music, all peoples, nations, and languages fell down and worshipped the golden image. But at that time, certain Chaldeans came forward and maliciously accused the Jewish people. They said to King Nebuchadnezzar, O king, live forever. Beware of men coming with flattery, always. You, O king, have made a decree that every man who hears the sound of horn, pipe, lyre, trigon, harp, bagpipe, and every kind of music shall fall down and worship the golden image. And whoever does not fall down and worship shall be cast into the burning, fiery furnace. There are certain Jewish people who you have appointed over the affairs of the province of Babylon, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. These men, O king, pay no heed to you. They do not serve your gods or worship your golden image which you, which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar, in a furious rage, commanded that Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego be brought. And they came before the king, and Nebuchadnezzar said to them, Is it true, O Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, that you will not serve my gods or worship the golden idol I have set up? Now if you are ready, when you hear the sound of the horn, the pipe, the lyre, the trigon, the harp, the bagpipe, and every kind of music, to fall down and worship the image which I have made, well and good, but if you do not worship, you shall be immediately cast into the burning, fiery furnace. And who is the God that will deliver you out of my hands? I bet you all know. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego answered the king, O King Nebuchadnezzar, we have no need to answer you in this matter. If it be so, our God, whom we serve, is able to deliver us from the burning, fiery furnace, and he will deliver us out of your hand. But if not, be it known to you, O king, we will not serve your gods or worship the golden image which you have set up. Then Nebuchadnezzar was full of fury. And the expression of his face changed against Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. He ordered the furnace heated to seven times more than it was usually, and ordered certain mighty men of his to bind Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego and cast them into the fiery furnace. Then these men were bound in their mantles, their tunics, their hats, and their outer garments, and they were cast into the burning, fiery furnace. Because the king's order was stripped and the furnace very hot. The flame of the fire slew those men who took up Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Then these three men, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, fell bound into the burning, fiery furnace. But then, King Nebuchadnezzar was astonished and rose up in haste. He said to his counselors, Did we not cast three men 
into the fire? They said, it's true, O king. He answered, but I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they are not hurt. And the appearance of the fourth shines like the sun. Then Nebuchadnezzar came near to the door of the burning fire furnace and said, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come forth and come here. Then Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out from the fire. And the satraps, the prefects, the governors, and the king's counselors gathered together and saw the fire had not any power over them. Their hair wasn't singed. Their clothes weren't burned. They didn't even smell like smoke. No harm had come upon them. And Nebuchadnezzar said, Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who has sent his angel and delivered his servants, who trusted in him, and set up at naught the king's command, and yielded up their bodies rather than serve and worship any god except their own. Therefore I make a decree. Any people, nation, or language that speaks anything against the god of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, shall be torn limb from limb, and their houses laid to ruins, for there is no other god who is able to deliver this way. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Whoa! Listen, I don't know if you guys realize how destructive fire is, but let me tell you what usually happens when you get too near something hot. See, Miss Mandy has like the, a line on my knee here, because I was ironing fabric while I was on the floor, and I burnt my knee with iron. I don't know if you guys know what a furnace is. A furnace was something that they used to completely destroy things or to fire clay, both of which you need extremely hot temperatures for, upwards of 3,000 degrees Fahrenheit. For reference, your body is roughly 98 degrees Fahrenheit. So, not three times that, but 30 times that. That's how hot this was. And they threw these three men in, all tied up with ropes. And when they came to look, there were four men, because God sent someone to be with them and protect them. And all the fire did was burn away their ropes. See, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego didn't just do what was right when it was hard. They did what it was right when it was hard with absolute faith that God would see them through it. Does that sound like someone? I think we talked about someone like that last week who had enough faith to fill an ark. But they had enough faith to walk into the fire. They had enough faith and enough steadfastness to do what was right, even when it could cost them everything. So that is the lesson I want you to take away from Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. The three men thrown into the fire who had a fourth one with them. I will see you guys next week for one more story out of the book of Daniel.